what is glucose? Glucose is, it's the end product of photosynthesis and it's therefore used in almost everything we have. Spinach has glucose. I mean, arugula, all of these things, anything, you name it, it's got glucose. But where do we find it in concentrated amounts is in what we call starches. So like a potato and a carrot, these would have it. So if you're going to bake carrots, you're going to bake potatoes. Uh, rice has it. Wheat has it more. Um, so, and especially cooked carbs. So cooked carbs have much more uh, a uh, higher con a concentration of co carbohydrates. So, now, there's a thing called the uh, glycemic index and the glycemic load. The glycemic index is really how high the sugar goes after eating a certain substance. So, you know, you might have uh, a standard of, let's say, sugar is 80. Well, potatoes are 100. So they not only go higher, but the other thing is how long. If I eat a spoonful of sugar, my, glu my glucose will go like this, up and then down. Why? Because my body makes insulin, puts it, puts it. The insulin's either going to put it into the cells, and if I've run out of it, it's going to turn it into fat. Either way. The glycemic load is how long it lasts. So I eat a spoonful of sugar, this is what happens. I eat a potato and my, it's going to last this long. I'm going to get not only as high or if not higher glucose in my blood, but it's going to last longer. It's going to last fifth, uh, an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, so the, glu so the glycemic load is perhaps more important than the glycemic index, but they're both important to, to, keep, to keep in mind, right? Because the body wants to maintain homeostasis. It wants to keep everything like this. Your blood pressure wants to go up a little bit when you're nest. You know, you're running up the stairs, your blood pressure's got to go up to keep your, your, your legs full of blood, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So your body needs to modify what it's doing to accommodate the requirements of the moment. Okay? But it doesn't want to deviate too much from the norm, too much from the status quo. And so the same with our blood sugar. Our blood sugar should stay anywhere from 70 to 120 and not go really above that. It doesn't need to. Depending, if you're eating, you know, it depends what you eat. So when we, we do glucose tolerance tests, we see people's glucose go really high and stay high for a long time. Well, you've got to just look at what they ate.